Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. Welcome back to Haywire Homestead. It is raining, 57 degrees, and it's supposed to go down to 38 tonight, but tomorrow, rain that changes over to snow. Ground's not cold enough, it won't stick. Um, but then we're gonna have some really cold temperatures. <sighs> I am heading out to the barn because we have a first-timer doe who is not wanting to willingly feed her babies. So sometimes when you have a doe, this is the first time they have babies, they get kind of, I don't know, confused, scared about the whole situation and uh, they need a little bit of help. So she had these babies, not last night, the night before. So the first night I was up every two hours holding her and just the sensation of having her babies trying to latch on was an issue for her. Uh, so I thought that I would share with you guys kind of what we're doing to try to help her. She is a bit better, okay? It's still not, she's still not willingly let them nurse. She's not talking to them like she was in the very beginning when she first had them. She did talk to them, she did clean them off. And then after that, as soon as the whole nursing thing started, it was nope, nope, not gonna happen. Um, so I'll just take you with me as I come out this morning and help them eat. These babies are several days old. You can see that one's nursing. Mama's reaching around, nuzzling her, cleaning off her hiney. This one, same thing. And they, these girls actually will, if their babies haven't nursed in a little bit because they're playing or they're napping. These girls who've had babies before, see, she's talking to her babies. And uh, they'll talk to their babies and say, get over here and nurse. You know, it's time to nurse. Well, Miss Louise is not, hasn't been doing that. Now, she has been getting a little bit closer to them. At first, she was kind of running for them. But you see how the baby's talking and she's not even looking at it. She's not looking at it. She's, she's, she's focusing on me. And then, oh, the baby touched her and, oh, no. We're gonna go away. We're gonna go back and we're gonna try to eat. Now watch what happens when he try, when that baby tries to nurse. She says, nope, and that's not good. So what we do is I'm gonna hold her and we're gonna let the babies nurse. Um, and um, just that way we make sure that they eat because, you know, and kind of forcing the issue a little bit Sometimes, not always, sometimes can get the mother to start bonding with them. I know, is you hungry? I know, hang on, I'm gonna help you, okay? Hang on. This was a little bit more of a fight than it was this earlier. I've been going about, yesterday we did about every two to three hours of coming out here and helping. And then 
night before I did every two hours because they were just born. So, see, I want her to do that. I want her to nuzzle the baby, smell the babies, and realize what's going on. Because if I just tied her up, which sometimes you do, you have to tie them up and hold a leg up to keep them from kicking and jumping. Um, but we, we did, we had to hold her pretty good first couple times we did this. And now we're to where it's a little bit of fight when we start and then she calms down. So you can see the babies are both under there. They're happily nursing and I just barely have a hold of her horn now. But I want her to see what's going on because if I just hold her to where she can't see, you know, all she has is a sensation of something messing with her udder and she doesn't really understand what's going on. So we want her to smell the babies and understand what's going on. Now this is where we've been getting to is I can actually totally let go and she does start to nuzzle them and then she'll stand there for about a minute and then, uh, then she'll leave them and she's done. I wanted to add um, something else and I do have a video on it that I did a while ago about weighing goat babies. Now we've upgraded a little bit. We used to do a bag with a scale. I now have this baby goat sling that I got from Premier One and then this is just a fishing scale. So I set it up. I know how much that weighs and you just stick the babies in it um, and then weigh them. So that way I can keep track of their rate of gain. Now for boar goats, typically minimum a quarter of a pound gain a day um, is what you want. And you see, it's like she turned around, she's not letting them, she didn't let them nurse, but um, you know, she is allowing them to be close to her. She's just saying, nope, I'm not gonna stand still for you to nurse. So as soon as she finishes her breakfast, I'll probably hold her one more time. So we just gotta keep at it. We're just gonna keep working at it. Everybody say a prayer that she finally comes around. <laughs> 